Paradise, you crazy. Before I start this video off, I just want to say that how did this happen? So in my last tutorial, I had more subscribed people, but now we don't have that many people. How? <laughs> Sensational. Like, can you all just like take a moment to hit that subscribe button? It will really help a lot. Yo, 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 what's good? J5 community is Jeff here. And today, guys, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a 4K quality upscale in After Effects. So, this tutorial is gonna require you to have Topaz installed, and you're also gonna need a Logarith codec that I'm also gonna link in the description. Please do check out the description to get these two plugins as necessary for this tutorial. Also, you guys, when I, I have a habit of making these tutorials at midnight, I, I need to stop this, bro. Anyways, so without much be said, let's get back into the tutorial. So as you guys can see, this is just a twixed clip of um, Darren and Kerry. And pretty much, it doesn't really matter what's in the footage. I just use this as an example, just to show you the difference in terms of quality. And right now in full res, a single frame just looks like this you can see the pixels and edges and in order to get like a very good upscale we want to resize the image but not remove the pixels and this is how topaz comes in but before we get to the topaz part we do need to make an exponent after effects and the way i export after first may be different towards the way you guys export so first step add to render queue and the first thing you want to do is change the setting to uh, format options, video codec, and you want to um, select that box. Pretty much, this is um, already installed on my PC. You guys may not have it, and I already have a link in the description if you guys want to get it, and you're going to render it out. And once you do render it out, you get something like this, an AVI file. And that's okay because um, we're going to use Media Encoder to create an MP4 video. So let's jump into Media Encoder. Alright, guys, so once your Media Encoder boots up, you want to put your clip inside here. Pretty much, you want to change the settings. The settings I use is Match Source I Bitrate, um, use Maximum Render Quality, and you want to scroll down here to find the rate settings. So if you're on a low end PC, I just highly recommend leaving it as VBR one pass and set this to 25 since that will get the job done. But you do you may use a tiny bit of quality. What I personally do since I have like a higher end PC is I set this to 50. And pretty much what this is gonna do is gonna go through the video twice and it's gonna like put those two videos together to keep the quality the same. And you also wanna tick this box that says use maximum render quality because uh, if you have this box unchecked, it doesn't really use the full potential of the render and you do lose a bit of quality. So once you're done rendering this out like I've already have, you'll get something like this. It's a simple twister I made and you can see it's it's clear, it looks good regardless. But what we're gonna do next is remove those pixels so that way you can get a clean 4K upscale. And this is gonna be done on Topaz. So once you boot it up, you should get a start screen like this. Don't forget, I've linked it down in the description. So if you guys do not have Topaz yet, um, it's linked already. All right, so the next stage is you want to drag and drop this whole tutorial clip into here. And pretty much it should look something like this. Oh, just in the timeline, that's at the bottom. And your settings may differ to mine, but once I change like the saving path to, and also I just need to let you guys know I've already rendered this, but I'm gonna re-render again just to show you what I've done. So pretty much you're gonna get these type of settings. This might be different for you. 
um i'm gonna show you what i do so you want the video quality at high you want this at progressive you want this at none and ai should preserve and enhance details all right um you also want this at posterous fine tune as that's just gonna keep the uh like just remove the blur but like not to a large extent if you use blur to a large extent just like the blur that's shouldn't really be in the clip um we're gonna increase this you're gonna set this to 100 you're also gonna turn on the sharpen we don't need sharpen at all it does make this that clip look too sharp and it messes up a lot of the footage so please don't use sharpen i want to increase and reduce noise decrease the dehalo and increase this and pretty much you want the output size at 200% because that's going to change it from HD to 4K. The amount, I'll say play with it. Usually you start with the value 1, but I set the grain from 2 to 4.5. And I think 4.5 is the best, especially if you do cartoon style. Because if your cartoon looks a little too sharpened and you don't have like enough grain to like uh, make it look natural, it does look weird, so please keep it at 2 or 4.5. Anywhere in between those is good. Um, you want to also need the video format at MP4 H.264. The constant rate factor might be different for you. I've just personally tweaked it to 20 and yeah, keep the audio. So once you start processing, what this is going to do is going to go through the clip and try um scale it out or in a bit and the uh, get rid of like the pixels that were originally placed on the hd clip uh, and once that's done you should get something like this as you can see topaz has gone through the clip and it's nicely removed the um pixels it's also made the edges not too sharp but a lot more visible and the blur that you guys saw at the start of the Twixter is completely removed and it's a lot more smoother. So you can do this on final edited clips and you should end up with the same results I do. Even if your edit has a lot of effects, um, Topaz doesn't ruin the effects. All it just does is make the scenes a lot more clearer. So you guys mess around the settings, try the different grain settings like I said and see what works out for you. I hope this tutorial gets helped you guys a lot. Um, please do drop a like, a sub and a comment for what I should do for my next tutorial. I'm so grateful for all you guys. So yeah, have a nice one. This is Jeff and I'm out. Peace.